Okay, so now the pizza dough has been rising for an hour, and so I just stick it in my mixing bowl, cover with my octagonal bond mat to rise, and then I'm gonna pull this beautiful dough out. And then, like I said, you could roll all of this at once, and it's gonna make one large pizza that'll fit perfectly on my large bond mat, okay? But you can also separate. So now, today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate this and make some flatbreads. And so I'm gonna cut this in half. I'm just gonna use um, half of the, actually I'm gonna use a quarter of the dough. So I'm just gonna take a quarter of this dough and I'm gonna roll this out on my roll pad. So those of you who are not familiar with the roll pad, it is a rolling mat that is non-stick. And what you see is happening here is that as I roll my dough out, my roll pad's not sliding all over the counter, isn't that nice? But my dough is also not sticking. So um, this littler size flatbread, look at this, is great. Um, can actually be pretty easy to flip. But I want to show you how I flip it, especially when I have a bigger dough. It's pretty cool. So, uh, for the flatbread, like a really thin pizza is really how you want to think about it. And so, I go nice and thin on this. Look at that, you guys. It's only one-fourth of our dough. So, like I said, you can do four flatbreads in one dough. So, now I'm going to take, this is the sill pan. Now, if you see me hold it up to the light, it's kind of a mesh. So this is gonna help get my dough extra crispy. So I'm choosing to use this today. So I'm going to put that over top. You can see it's gonna hang over a little, but that's okay. I can adjust that once it's on there. And then take my perfect baking sheet. Look how I roll the edges of the roll pad over. I flip it, and then this is where you see the beauty of the non-stick. It just comes right off. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now I've got my flatbread that now I can top with whatever I want. Okay, I'm gonna make this delicious caramelized onion and pear flatbread. It's so delicious, you guys. Okay, so I'm heating one tablespoon of our extra virgin olive oil from France that is uh, heating right now. And then I've got sliced, two sliced pears, and now I'm going to slice our onions easily with our mandolin. And so you can see it stores flat, super easy. I'm gonna put the onion on there and put the safety guard on and then I'm going to slice 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 really quickly I love this super easy to do if it starts to get off center I just rotate it I'm gonna move to the next one because make it simple and a little bit off so then I put the onion on those spokes and it's a little bit big it's a nice sweet onion here and so perfect Okay, so now look at those gorgeous onions. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hot oil and I'm gonna add the onions and the pears at the same time, which is a little bit unusual, I think. Um, usually I would caramelize the onions first, but this recipe says onions and pears at the same time. And then I'm gonna add one tablespoon of our traditional balsamic, just an amazing balsamic. And I'm gonna add that right now. And then these are gonna caramelize for about eight minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna top this flatbread with this yummy mixture. We've got our, look at this, our pears and onion and balsamic have been caramelizing for about eight minutes. And this is enough to really make um, two flatbreads here. And I've got, I'm just doing one. So I can just kind of spread this out and then we'll save the rest for the next batch of flatbread. Um, but look how gorgeous this is, you guys. Smells so good. I wish you could smell it. It really smells amazing. And then we're gonna top this with some beautiful spinach and gorgonzola cheese, okay? So I'm first gonna put some of this cheese on. I like to do my cheese in layers, so I'm gonna put a little bit of this gorgonzola cheese on here. And then I'm going to put some spinach on top. You don't wanna overdo the spinach, but you want some nice color there and it adds some really nice flavor as well. And then, why not? Let's throw a little bit more gorgonzola on top. And we are gonna pop that in the oven at 450 degrees and it's gonna be nice and crisp and ready to eat in about 10 minutes, so enjoy.
Okay, you can see this gorgeous uh, Gorgonzola pear flatbread, and you can eat it just like this. It's super delicious. I want to show you how beautifully that cooked on the back side. Look how nice and crisp that is. And then um, a lot of people like to top it with a little bit of our barrel-aged traditional balsamic, so that's a nice uh, topping as well.